G'day guys, Mark van der Bogart from SSAA Publications. As a follow-up to my field test video of the Burris BDH35 thermal handheld unit, which is the one right here in front of us, today I'm going to run through the features and specifications. So let's get to it. The Burris BDH35 is a thermal monocular, so we have a single eyepiece at the rear and a 35mm front objective. The front objective is a manual focus by this heavy rubber ring. It is quite tight and firm that focus won't shift when you're in the field. However, you do need to remember that you need to keep focusing when you're changing your distances. Whilst the Burris has a whole range of features and settings that you can use to really fine tune it to your style of hunting, some of the main features include the one to four digital zoom, the shock and water resistant nature of the build, the Wi-Fi setting, which allows you to pair the Burris BDH35 with your smartphone, and even live stream video and still images if you want, the five hour run time, the 1000 meter detection range, and the color display. Having a closer look at the control unit, the Burris is ambidextrous, which means for us left-hand shooters, it really is a unit that's made for us just as much as everyone else, which is something I'm very happy with. The uh, control unit features a large on-off button, which also acts as a standby button. In standby mode, you can get about five hours of run time through the, bar through the Burris, and that's field tested by myself. Next, you have the menu select button and the two menu up and down buttons. Now, those toggles also activate the digital zoom, and the rear button is the still and video camera feature. One of the standout features for me was the fact that the Burris has a five color palette. What that means in simple terms is that you can actually select the color that you'll see heat or the heat signature of game. Uh, as you'll see in the short videos, we both um, observed kangaroos as both a white heat source and a black heat source. Just to explain, the black heat source with the black tree surrounding the kangaroos was just after dark, so there was still heat in that tree, whereas the white heat source was around 11 o'clock at night, where everything had cooled down except for the various livestock and native game, and in fact, feral game in the paddock as well. What having a five color palette selection means for you is that you can mix and match how you see heat depending on the conditions. Well, there you go, guys, the Burris BDH35 Thermal Optic. I hope you enjoyed the video and I certainly hope you got something out of it. And with that, I'll speak to you again soon. See you later.